All right, YouTube, welcome to another yet video. As I promised, I was going to show you guys what I was going to load or put into my Maxpedition belt pouch that I just recently did an unboxing video of. Uh, as everybody know, I did a video on my EDC lunch pail, bo box, lunch pail box bag, backpack, whatever you want to call it. Um, go watch that video if you're curious as to see what I pack in my backpack for work. Uh, it's basically my lunch box, but I also put other stuff in there. All right. Now, that's going to be basically the loadout for my belt okay this is the belt pouch the maxpedition belt pouch uh here's the victorinox knife that i would carry in my cargo pants pocket um all right let's get into what's in this whole system here all right first of all uh i decided to stick with my uh victorinox trucker as my main tool and blade uh and the reason is because um, I was sorely disappointed with this. I was going to carry this as my main blade uh, in my pocket at work. But I don't think... Uh, I mean, don't get me wrong. I love the steel. Okay? But the action is just horrible. You know? Like, I don't know how to emphasize that anymore in an emergency if i need to deploy this knife all i'm going to do is wind up hurting my thumb here right here trying to deploy it one-handed i mean it won't even open as smooth as this victorinox this victorinox is almost 15 years old guys and it's working smooth and nice okay so i don't know i don't know what to say to you spiderco uh and all you knife guys out there who rave about it and uh whatever i mean go usa right usa made made in colorado but you guys want to crap on chinese made stuff right okay whatever all right so boom let's continue done videos about my victorinox trekker okay it's got a peanut lighter on it okay i love the can opener Always need a can opener in case you want to eat Chef Boyardee for lunch. Okay. Um, here is the nice flat tip screwdriver slash pry tool. Loved it. Just recently used it to pry open. I, I used the bolt cutter to lock, uh, cut off somebody's lock off a locker. And then it kind of squished the lock part squished together and I had to kind of pry them open so I could get it off the lock okay I mean the locker so that came in handy so I already used this knife for work one-handed open uh, semi serrated blade uh, I think this blade is substantial enough for it to be called the main blade uh, I was hoping that spider coal would be my main blade because it's a sharper it's it's a more hefty knife but whatever this will have to do little minor tools that i can be using to just solve minor issues day to day at work and love it already used the peanut lighter somebody on a smoke break asked me if i had a lighter and i told them i don't smoke at work but you know what come to think of it i do have a lighter hey and give them and uh, I lit a cigarette for him. Okay, so already came in handy a few times. All right, now let's move on. Enough about my Torinox Trekker. Now, here we go to the main event. I added this uh, uh, pouch here, a makeshift. This is actually, a, I think, a flashlight pouch. I added it here onto the side uh, loop here. This right here, and that is my tourniquet. All right, I feel I feel like working as a security guard, uh, you may get into a situation. I work inside of a facility that is more like a manufacturing facility. So, if somebody gets injured to the point where they get a really bad cut or uh, they're bleeding from an artery or something uh, on their limbs, uh, tourniquet. 
if a tourniquet is needed, at least I have it with me, okay? On the outside here, where the Maxpedition uh, logo is, uh, there is a loop here that I can fit my fit my uh, Olight flashlight on. So that's nice. So I, I, I did want to fit it on here on the side here, but of course these loops are too skinny and only can accommodate like a, a, a thick pen or a Sharpie. So that's about all that can accommodate. So uh, I is a belt clip on this flashlight pouch that I stuck into that loop on this side. And uh, there you go, the tourniquet flashlight o light on this side i have a uh rescue breather uh cpr mask that i have it dangling here on the side i have a sharpie pen here on this side okay let's go into the pocket not everything is going to be emergency related. Uh, I work in a facility where it's very loud, so I have my noise cancel active noise canceling Tozo. I just did a video on the unboxing of this product. Love it so far. Okay, so if I, as later on down the road, I will do a full review on these. Uh, but uh, pretty decent initially. All right, so that's on top. Next to it is a uh, cheap, disposable, a $1 from Walmart headband, headlight. Uh, I don't see why I would need to spend a lot of money for a temporary use light. Uh, I'm not going hiking anywhere. Facility may uh, get hit by a tornado or uh, electricity might go out and, and, and I might be working at night. And I need my hands free. I just need something temporary to guide my way until I get to the breaker or whatever. But here, I also have a main flashlight. So, redundancy a little bit there. Um, here, inside, I don't know if you can see inside there. I have a uh, small pocket in, in the in the bad pouch. And I will be carrying my Victorinox Swiss Champ. So, yes. Because of the fail of the Spyderco, which I'm not going to consider to carry at work, I have to now carry two Swiss Army knives at work. One for main blade use uh, outside of the pouch on my pocket and for multi-tool purposes. I was considering to use a Leatherman, which has a heavier duty plier. But I'm going to be honest with you guys. Hey, look, I'm not the maintenance people. I'm not the repairman. I'm not trying to fix problems at work. Uh, I'm just trying to deal with uh, certain issues that need quick solutions. If, if I can't help, I'm going to call the maintenance man who has all the tools on his tool belt to fix things. I'm not there to fix anything heavy duty. But it does, the Swiss Champ does have a little plier for me to do little delicate minor detailed works that I don't need to really call the maintenance man for. I could just take care of it on my own, right? So there are tools here, mainly um, this o this one over the Leatherman, even though the Leatherman has a robust, my Leatherman signal has a more robust uh, pliers, even though that, that's the case, the Leatherman signal does not have this. And as a security guard, I have to read fine prints on work orders. Truck drivers come in, uh, they have work orders, and sometimes uh, fine prints I need to look for or, or read to make sure that they go to the right places and I call the right people. And you know, at my age, my vision is getting worse and worse every year. So <laughs> there you have it. Uh, another peanut lighter on here. Uh, it is what it is. Basically, uh, ultimately, after work, this is probably going to come out of the pouch and go into my regular daily civilian life, non-work related EDC carry. And if I do get uh, this resolved, where this opens smoother and better, maybe if I can get a replacement or get it fixed somehow, this 
this will be the two main EDC tools and blades that I would carry, okay? But that is the reason why I have two Swiss Army knives in my EDC work, work EDC carry. All right, and now going into the bottom, I'm going to pull out an Altoy tin. Now, this is pretty much empty. And the reason it's pretty much empty is because at my workplace, they have a, a very nice medic medicine cabinet with all of the nice bandages and st sterile uh, uh, gels and all that, uh, first aid kit and all that. So I'm going to uh, take some of that stuff and put it in this tin to carry around at work. Um, I have super glue. They don't have, of course, super glue inside the medicine cabinet. I think they might have uh, a uh, liquid stitch or whatever, but uh, I'm gonna carry the super glue anyway. Never know, might not use it. Uh, another thing they don't have in the medicine cabinet is Pepto Bismol. Gotta have it, gotta have it. I'm sitting on post sometimes with uh, uh, my stomach bubbling, and these are like lifesavers, you know. So, gotta have that. So, this is my private little first aid medicine cabinet kind of deal uh, at work. Also, uh, you know, if I'm walking and doing a security check and I come across an employee with a boo-boo on their finger or whatever, I could dip in here and give them a Band-Aid and they don't have to walk all the way to the front of the building to get uh, get to the medicine cabinet or the first aid kit. So that's it. Basically, that's all this will fit. I mean, I could fit probably a a very slim, very slim notepad in here. And I probably should. I think I will work on getting a slim notepad to fit in here. So to, to keep uh, notes or take notes as a security officer, you know, you take, you go to alarm responses and you have to write reports. You have to get names and stuff and you have to write down people's names and write a report. So I, I will definitely need a a slim notepad that will go into this section right here. But that's about all that's missing from this kit so far that I think I would need. And uh, I don't want to make it too heavy because I don't want it to actually pull my pants down as I'm walking around. So I think this right here, eh, I say about a little less than a, a gun fully loaded. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I, can, I mean that's all I can actually compare it to to get you guys to understand what I'm talking about um yep that's it all right so uh I take a, maybe a, a picture or a video of me wearing it with my uniform pants I know the I I, I sort of got these tactical pants that they gave us are like I don't know. I like them and kind of hate them because, of course, they make me look like Steve Urkel. But anyway, <laughs> all right, stand by. All right, so these are my uniform pants. I'm not in full uniform. Just wanted to uh, demo the um, how the pouch looks on me. Does it make me look fat or what? Okay, so these are the pants. Uh, Love and hate relationship. Uh, I like the material, but I think the buttons on the fly, buttons on the cargo pants here. This is where I keep my Victorinox. So how's it look? All right. So that's it. Thanks for watching.